I knew Jane as a friend, as a colleague, as a, a boss, and we shared a lot of happy moments. We shared a lot of troubling moments. We knew each other since we were 18 years old. We, we got together in PT school and became friends ever since. Jane was extremely bright and she wanted to succeed and she wanted to be great right from the start. She didn't mind challenging anyone about information. I see Jane as a visionary right from the start. She had big ideas, big ideas for herself, for her company, and of course for the program at the University of Maryland, and tried to make an impact. She was really ahead of her time. Many, many of the ideas that she had seemed foreign to a number of people. But she was very good at convincing. I will remember her determination her devotion to her patients, to her employees, to everyone she touched. She engaged with them in such a way that she became your best friend for that moment. There was nothing phony or false about Jane. And she was willing to give everything that she had, heart and soul. Jane was the best known for what she did in the field of pediatrics. She, you know, was a tremendous therapist in that area. Her business was really one place where the patients could get everything they need, the PT, the OT, and the speech. So she really was very comprehensive in that manner. She was also a fierce advocate for the children, um, especially those with special needs, to make sure that they were getting what they needed. So advocating in the legislature and advocating for the different things that these children needed. Certainly many students have um, worked with her in, or therapists that she employed and really got a tremendous background in pediatrics. And many of those therapists are still practicing today and bestowing their wisdom down to um, newer grads and to students today. So her impact, I think, will be felt for a long time in that area of pediatrics, for sure. I do think that we've lost a tremendous physical therapist in this area. She really did pave the way uh, for the treatment of uh, pediatric patients and those with special needs. and really um, help build that that area of physical therapy. And I think we're definitely gonna feel that loss. Jane was a role model to anyone who had any contact with her. Um, she demonstrated by example, the importance of providing not only quality care, but at the same time, an enormous amount of compassion um, and attention to anybody that she took care of patient-wise from the administrative end and even from the student end, uh, which is where I first met her. Jane was a born leader. She was charismatic, uh, very loving, very organized. Um, she had a contagious positivity for anything that she touched. She had a bubbly personality. She had a can-do attitude, uh, which I think served her very well in the multiple uh, clinical and administrative positions that she held over the years. She was never afraid of hard work. Um, and again, she led by example. It was very clear that she had her hand in every single student's education while that student was there. She was always at every meeting, she always had contact with the direct clinical supervisors to make sure that we had that we met with success with every single um, patient that we saw, every connection that we saw with the physicians. Jane was not only a, a, a wise, loyal, wonderful person, but she's also philanthropic. And she made a substantial gift named after her. And we committed that this would be a professorship that would use to recruit people of significant uh, worth and significant contributions across the country to be part of her team. She was very happy with that. So she really has made a huge impact. And I would also say, not just with her, with her, her financial contributions, but she has remained to her death in the department, being involved with advising the chair, myself, being on the search committee. In fact, while she was ill, even in the hospital, she was a member of a committee and was telling me that she regret not being able to attend in person. That's the kind of person she was. Jane was very 
helpful and supportive and and um, helped us in, in so many ways in terms of how we were doing the business of the department and how we were thinking about the future of the department. Um, and in a, in a personal way, we developed quite a close friendship, um, a lot of, of trust. She was an amazing woman in that um, when you talk to her, she had very intense eyes. So you knew that you were being heard. You knew that you were being heard when you talked to Jane. And um, she, she had a habit of sort of repeating back to you what she thought you heard, she heard you say um, before she then went into, here's what you need to think about. <laughs> and um, based on her wealth of experience, she had so much to share. Um, that was so valuable in so many ways. And we had met for lunch, I guess within a couple of months of, of uh, when Jane passed away. So I just appreciate so much the opportunity to have had her friendship and her guidance and, and uh, miss her a lot, really miss her. The amazing thing about Jane Satterfield was her presence. She was active. She was there with us. She came to the department. She was present. Her, she was present in when she volunteered and served on committees. She was extremely engaged with our alumni initiatives. Jane was amazing with faculty recruitment. She's tremendous when we think about strategic planning. Jane was there for us always when we were moving into our next phase of strategic planning with her vision. She led with a focus. She was passionate. It was very clear, her passion for the profession, her passion for the children she worked with, and just her abundance of kindness. I felt it every time I was with Jane. She lit up a room. She encouraged others to shine when she was the one providing the opportunities. People walked away feeling good about the situation, good about the profession, and good about leading in the right direction because of Jane's just truly passion and joy for the work that she did. Jane's legacy will live on in the students that we teach. Her legacy will continue with the rehabilitation research that we produce and absolutely her legacy will continue on in the many faculty that she mentored over the years. When we think about what we can do or what we want to do in PTRS, it's because of Jane Satterfield that we know we will be able to achieve those goals. I, it's, it was my life's dream to be able to make a difference in the lives of children with special needs and for their families as well. And that's been the focus of my entire career. And I've loved every minute of it. And I thank University of Maryland for having given me the education that I needed to be able to do it.